Hello everyone, this is V and today's spotlight is about Poland. I have just started up a game. Poland works extremely well on any map type, so just taking random is fine. They have a planes starting bias, as you can see here. I started on this spot between the two salt and then uh, moved my warriors and revealed these resources here, so I decided to move to this hill. But yeah, you will usually start in your planes, which is pretty good for production, but uh, usually a little worse than a grassland start, because growth trumps pretty much everything. But as you can see here, uh, with the salt, which is a uh, usually found on planes it's uh it's not gonna be horrible tundra or desert starts can be a lot worse than a planes start so uh let's get into the abilities then the uh ability of poland solidarity you receive a free social policy when you advance to the next era this is uh, one of the most powerful abilities in the entire game and uh, as you can see you will get seven free uh, social policies although the last one here probably doesn't matter much but the six before that usually are really good and uh, that means that you can open an entire policy tree for free. And that has a number of very specific advantages and builds that are not ordinarily done or possible. Uh, and all the while you can do this while only focusing moderately on uh, culture. So, the first thing you can do with this is uh, the following. Uh, one second. You can uh, try leaping towards the uh, classical era to complete a tree. This is often done uh, quite a bit earlier than uh, it normally would be because, uh, yeah, you get one free policy so you can get the uh, oligarchy around turn 10 and then uh, legalism and landed elite in uh, by turn 30 and then well by turn uh, 50 or so you can have a tradition completed I think well I didn't do the math but it's pretty quick this way with the uh, free uh, social policy uh, a jump to either of the uh, decks here, well it's usually gonna be philosophy, mathematics or construction will immediately yield uh, a new social policy usually they are used to complete tradition first um, but you might as well do a liberty start, it's better with Poland than with most civs because you are going to be uh, stronger than most civs so having this available means that you can get a very early uh, great engineer for a wonder of your choice which is uh, pretty good so this uh, this jump starting one of the tech tree one of the policy trees uh, ultimates is uh, really good for Poland so you can plan your text accordingly to uh, get one early and uh, the, the bonus is very significant because the sixth policy here is uh, something that takes a lot of time you don't have much in the way of culture buildings usually just a monument and the bonus from the 
capital. If you're lucky, maybe you get a little bit more than that, but it's often just that, and that means that the sixth policy is gonna take quite a lot of turns. Fifteen is not unusual, I think. Um, so jump starting it with the free policy is extremely good, and it often can mean that you can get a wonder if you go liberty for free or that you can get the aqueducts much earlier than you should be getting them. Now it is very well possible to use these three social policies to uh, branch out. It's fairly common to have uh, more policies than you can uh, fill up. So um, it's unlikely that you will open rationalism before you have to branch out of tradition that rarely, if ever, happens in normal games and it definitely doesn't happen for Poland, so you have to take that into account. You will have to take something else. And what you take is just going to depend on what kind of game you intend to play. If you want a free religion, then that's definitely possible. Just go tradition and uh, open piety, take a few, and then you can still complete tradition in a relatively okay time. I don't think that if you have completed tradition, you should still open piety. So if you do it, you should go open tradition and then open piety, take organized religion and probably Mandate of Heaven, and then leave it at that, and then fill out the Tradition Tree. But just as common is just going Tradition and then opening Patronage, which uh, is a, an enduring benefit, and you don't need much more than this in the Tech Tree for it to be good. So that's something that's it, it doesn't happen often, let me say. If you plan on going for a conquest game, then opening Liberty is also a very, very nice. You can get Liberty plus citizenship, plus possibly even representation for even more culture. And then finish off with meritocracy. This combination often happens in a very long conquest games because the meritocracy provides you with so much happiness. So that's something that Poland can do extremely well. Uh, just take also liberty. If you're going for the science game then I think tradition plus patronage is the best way to go. Later on you can then uh, start putting points into commerce. I generally like to avoid aesthetics uh, since it's just it's not great for most of the victory conditions if you're really going to go uh, tourism then yeah obviously Poland is very good for it since you can get the uh, aesthetics filled out much faster than uh, any of the other civs you're basically gonna be three policies ahead I think by the time you complete it so in that case, just go Tradition Aesthetics, and then you are free to go uh, Rationalism as needed, of course. And by the time you get to Rationalism, you should have an easy time picking up uh, Free Thought and Secularism, something not all uh, science games can, uh, can do successfully. So these are all fairly good uh, uses of the uh, Free Policies. And of course in the late game getting to a tier 3 uh, quickly or getting extra happiness in your chosen ideology is going to be pretty sickening. So yeah, for that reason alone Poland is one of the best sifts in the game. Now what else do we have to offer? We have the Ducal Stable here, which is, uh, well, it's almost the same as a stable except it adds even more XP to mounted units so that's very good means your mounted units with uh, a barracks and a ducal stable 
already start out well ahead and uh, you can combine the Ducal Stable, Barracks, Arsenal and uh, Military Academy to start at level 3 for a mounted unit which is excellent. Oh, sorry. So that's very very good. I don't think it counts on tank units anymore though so uh, it's better to build a cavalry and then upgrade it to a tank but I cannot guarantee this. I believe that's how it works though. And other than that you get one production and one gold from pastures so yeah that's a really big advantage as well. Um, having extra production no matter where it's from is uh, an enormous benefit. The last uh, ability from Poland is the Winged Hussar. It's a Lancer upgrade and uh, it forces defenders to retreat when uh, it has the advantage in damage dealt. That is an interesting ability. So compare it to the um, cavalry. This one has 5 move which uh, puts it over top for some uses. Though you must uh, take into account that this unit cannot use uh, movement after it has attacked I believe. So that's something that you have to remember. Also the forces defenders to retreat is it's not always good. Um, you can knock units out of range for attacks. You can knock them to safety. You can even knock them into uh, a position from where they can attack an exposed unit of your own if you're not careful. So you have to take caution when using them. But it's, uh, it's still a strong unit with the 5 move and uh, the increased combat strength. So it's not as useless as a regular Lancer. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty important. Note that um, you could build them with the Ducal Stable, but you can also uh, build a Pikeman and uh, Spearman and just uh, get them to a few promotions and then the Winged Hussar will be able to pick up a movement promotion. I think even two if you level it up long enough. And if you put it at move 6, obviously it's uh, better than a tank. And at that point it can do pretty crazy stuff. So that's a fairly important thing to know. Uh, yeah, that's about it for uh, for Poland. So for me, Poland is a 9 out of 10. You can go any direction with this sieve and the free policies are just, well, so, so very good that uh, no matter what you're going to try, it's going to be a lot easier and, uh, yeah, it's a typically very powerful and good sieve to start with if you're going for a higher difficulty than you're used to. So... And that's gonna be all. See you next time.